Welcome to our latest video which has the title Learning About Hydrocarbons and this video is suitable for GCSE students. By the end of this video lesson you should understand that there are two main types of hydrocarbons called alkanes and alkenes. You should be able to describe the bonding that exists in both alkanes and alkenes and draw bonding diagrams to explain this. You should also be able to name symbol alkanes and alkenes, write them molecular formally, and be able to draw their structures. Now in our previous lesson on crude oil and its separation by fractional distillation, we learned that crude oil is a mixture of different substances called hydrocarbons. And a hydrocarbon is a compound that contains hydrogen and carbon only. Now there are two types of hydrocarbons, alkanes and alkenes. Alkanes are held together by single covalent bonds and alkenes contain a double covalent bond. Now if you're unsure about what the term covalent bonding means, we recommend you look through our previous series of videos on bonding where you'll discover the difference between ionic bonding the bonding between a metal and a non-metal, and covalent bonding, the bonding that exists between non-metal atoms. So we're now going to look in a little more detail at what hydrocarbons are. So hydrocarbons are compounds that contain hydrogen and carbon only. Now carbon is in group 4 in the periodic table, and it has an ability to bond to itself, and it does this by covalent bonding, where it's able to share electrons with another atom. Now this ability that carbon has to bond to itself means that it's possible to have long chains of carbon atoms. So hydrocarbons can be of differing sizes. You can have very small hydrocarbon molecules, in the case of methane, CH4, which consists of one carbon atom surrounded by four hydrogens. Or you could have much longer chains of hydrocarbon atoms with say 20 carbons all joined together in a chain. Now the first type of hydrocarbon we're going to discuss in this video are alkanes. Now alkanes contain atoms held together by single covalent bonds and this slide shows a bonding diagram for methane CH4. Now, atoms want to join with other atoms to gain a full outer shell of electrons. And carbon is in group four. It's got four electrons in the outer shell. And these can be represented here by crosses on this bonding diagram. Now, to obtain a full outer shell, the carbon shares a pair of electrons with four hydrogens. Now by sharing electrons both the carbon and the hydrogens are able to obtain a full shell of electrons. Now each shared pair of electrons is a single covalent bond. Now a single covalent bond can be represented by a line and on the left hand side of the bonding diagram we have the structural formula of methane which is represented by a carbon and four lines, two hydrogen atoms and the line represents a shared pair of electrons, a single covalent bond between the carbon and the hydrogens. Now the molecular formula of methane is CH4 which means that there's one carbon and four hydrogens in every molecule of methane and methane is the first member of the alkane family. Now molecular formulas tell you how many of each atom is present so it tells you how many carbons and how many hydrogens you have where the structural formula shows you the structure of this molecule. It shows you how the atoms are arranged. Now 
Now this slide shows the second member of the alkane family, ethane. And ethane consists of two carbons and six hydrogens. And its bonding diagram is shown on this slide. And you can see that each carbon has four electrons in its outer shell. And the two carbons in ethane are sharing a pair of electrons. And each carbon is also sharing a pair of electrons with three hydrogens. Now, when the carbon shares a pair of electrons with the three hydrogens and with another carbon, it has a share of eight electrons and it has obtained a full outer shell of electrons. Now, on the left hand side of this bonding diagram, I've drawn the structural formula for ethane. And it's a lot more convenient to draw the structural formula to show the bonding and structure in the ethane than having to draw the full bonding diagram. Because I can see from the structural formula that ethane is made up of all single covalent bonds. And I can see that there's a single covalent bond between each carbon and each carbon is also bonded to three hydrogens by single covalent bonds, if I look at this structural formula. And I've also included the molecular formula for ethane. And the molecular formula for ethane is C2H6, because each molecule of ethane is made up of two carbons and six hydrogens. So because carbon's in group four, it needs four electrons to obtain a full outer shell, and therefore each carbon will have four bonds. So you can always tell if you've drawn the structure correct if your carbon has four bonds. And in this molecule of ethane, a carbon is bonded to one other carbon and three hydrogens. So to help us understand the bonding and structure of alkanes, we're now going to make some models. So I'm going to start with a carbon atom, and that's the black atom here. And I'm going to put four bonds onto this atom. And I'm going to bond hydrogens to this carbon atom. So this is the first member of my alkane, and it's CH4. It's a carbon atom surrounded by four hydrogen atoms and the hydrogens here are represented by the white atoms. Now I know this is an alkane because every bond is a single covalent bond and remember carbon is in group four so it has to have four bonds. Now the shape of methane is actually a tetrahedral structure. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the next member of the alkane family. And the next member of the alkane family is ethane. So to do this, I'm going to put two carbons next to each other with single bonds. And then on each carbon, I'm going to have three more bonds coming off. Because remember, group four elements have four electrons in the outer shell and carbon's a group four element, and therefore each carbon needs four bonds. So it's got one to another carbon, and it's gonna have three others to hydrogens. So I've now done the one carbon, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my three hydrogens around the other carbon. And when I've done this, each carbon will have four bonds. All the bonds are single bonds, and therefore the bond is a shared pair of electrons and I have my final molecule which is ethane and the formula for ethane is C2H6 and this is the second member of the alkane family. So now I've made models to represent the first two members of the alkane family. I'm going to draw a structural formula to represent each. So for methane, I've got one carbon and each carbon has four bonds and it's a hydrocarbon. It only contains carbon and hydrogen. So I'm just going to fit the four hydrogens around the carbon. And if I'm going to draw ethane, 
I'm going to draw two carbons and a single covalent bond, and I'm going to draw three hydrogens on each carbon. So in total, each carbon has four bonds, and that is the structural formula for ethane. So we're now going to look at the next member of the alkane family, and this alkane has three carbons in it. So I'm going to draw three carbons, and then I'm going to fit the hydrogens around the carbons. And remember, if I've drawn it right, each carbon has four bonds. So my first carbon has one, two, three, four bonds. My second carbon has two bonds, two other carbons, and then two hydrogens attached to the carbon. And my last carbon has three bonds to hydrogens and one to a carbon. So I'm counting them up. Each carbon has four bonds and that is the completed structure for this hydrocarbon. Now we've drawn the structure formula. So we're now going to put in the molecular formula. So the molecular formula is C3H8. And the name of this third member of the alkane family is propane. Now the A-N-E tells us it's an alkane because all alkanes end in ane, A-N-E. Now this slide summarizes what we've seen so far and it summarizes the first three members of the alkane family. The first member of the alkane family has one carbon in it and is called methane and has a molecular formula CH4. The second member of the alkane family is ethane, C2H6. And the third member of the alkane family is propane, C3H8. Now you'll notice that to work out the number of hydrogens for the number of carbons, you just double and add two. So if I had one carbon, I double and add two. So double one and add two, I have four hydrogens. And if I want to work out the number of hydrogens in ethane, I have two carbons and I double and add two, so I have six hydrogens. And if I want to work out the number of hydrogens in propane, I take three carbons, I double and I add two, so it has eight hydrogens. So our general formula for working out the number of hydrogens compared to the number of carbons is Cn H2n plus two. Now it's also worth pointing out that the reason they're classed as alkanes is that they're hydrocarbons that are made up of all single covalent bonds. So methane is a hydrocarbon and it's got four single covalent bonds. Ethane is a hydrocarbon and it consists of all single covalent bonds. And propane is a hydrocarbon and it consists of all single covalent bonds. So we're now gonna test your understanding of what we've covered so far by getting you to attempt a practice question. So read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers. So let's have a go for the answers. So the next member of the alkane family is butane, and butane has four carbons. So I'm gonna draw four carbon atoms here, and they're all single covalent bonds. And then I'm just gonna fit the hydrogens around the carbons. And I'm going to make sure that each carbon has four bonds. So my first carbon has four bonds, my second one has four bonds, and now I'm going to draw the other hydrogens in, and I'm making sure each carbon has four bonds. Now if I've done it right, the number of hydrogens is double the number of carbons plus two. So I've got four carbons, so I'm going to double four and have eight, and add two, so I must have ten hydrogens. So it's C4H10 for the molecular formula. And this compound is called butane. So for the next part of the question, I'm asked to draw an alkane with five carbons. So I'm going to draw five carbons here on my board and all single bonds because in an alkane every bond is a single bond and then I'm going to fit the hydrogens round making sure that each carbon has four bonds and the first carbon has four bonds second one has four bonds third one has a total of four bonds and I'm just checking this as I'm doing it now if I've drawn this correctly to 
To work out the number of hydrogens, I have to double the number of carbons and add two. So I've got five carbons, so I must have a total, if I've done it correctly, of 12 hydrogens. So my formula here is C5H12, and that's my molecular formula, and I've drawn my structural formula above it, and this alkane is called pentane. Now for the rest of this video, we're going to look at alkenes, the other type of hydrocarbon. Now an alkene contains a carbon-carbon double bond. And alkenes have the general formula CnH2n. And if you want to work out the number of hydrogens, you just double the number of carbons. So for example, if I have two carbons, I have four hydrogens. If I have three carbons, I have six hydrogens. And the simplest alkene is ethene. Because remember, to be an alkene, you have to have a carbon-carbon double bond. So the first member of the alkene family has two carbons, so it can have a carbon-carbon double bond. And that compound is called ethene. It ends in E-N-E. -E. Now, when you've got one carbon in, in a hydrocarbon, it starts with METH, meth. And when you've got two carbons in a hydrocarbon, it starts with ETH, F. And if you've got three carbons, it starts with PROP, prop. And if you have four carbons, it starts with but, B-U-T. So I have ethene here because there's two carbons in my molecule. And each carbon has four bonds. We have a double bond to another carbon. And then there's two CH bonds. And we have to have four bonds because carbon is in group four. So now let's look a little bit more closely at the bond in an alkenes. So an alkene has a carbon-carbon double bond. And that means that if we look at our bonding diagram, the carbon is sharing two pairs of electrons with another carbon atom. That is what we mean by a double bond. It's sharing two pairs of electrons. And each carbon is also sharing a pair of electrons with two hydrogens. So therefore, each carbon has a share of eight electrons. It has four electrons in its outer shell, and it's sharing two pairs of electrons with one carbon, and it's sharing a pair of electrons with each hydrogen. And both the carbon and the hydrogens in this diagram are obtaining their full outer shells. Now every alkene contains a carbon-carbon double bond. And the full structural formula here of ethene shows this clearly because it's represented by two lines. A single line is a shared pair of electrons, a single covalent bond. A double line represents a share of two pairs of electrons and a double covalent bond. So to help us understand the structure of alkenes, we're going to make some models. So I'm going to first make a model of ethene. So I've got my two carbons, and I'm going to put a double bond now between the two carbons. So there's my double covalent bond. And if each carbon has two bonds now, a double bond, it can only have two more bonds. Because remember, carbon has to have four bonds. So each carbon has a double bond. So there's two bonds to one carbon. And therefore, each carbon now can have two hydrogen bonds. So there's my first carbon sorted. That carbon now has four bonds. And I'm now going to fit two hydrogens around the second carbon. So that carbon will have a total of four bonds. It will have two CH bonds and a double carbon-carbon bond. So that molecule is ethene. You can see clearly the double bond. And this molecule has a molecular formula of C2H4. Because remember, an alkene has double the number of hydrogens compared to carbons. So I'm going to write that down 
and there's my molecular formula at C2H4 and the name of this alkene is ephene. Now we name it ephene because the ETH means it's got two carbons and the ENE tells us it's an alkene. So we're now going to make a model of propene. So this time I need three carbons in my chain. So I've already got two carbons. I still need my double bond if it's going to be an alkene. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another carbon to make my chain three carbons long. I've kept my double bond and I've now got to make sure that each carbon has a total of four bonds. So my first carbon has two CH bonds and a double bond, so that's okay. Um, my middle carbon has a double bond and a CH bond and then another bond to a carbon, so that's my four. And this last carbon now has to have three hydrogens on it to enable it to have four bonds. So that is the next member of my alkene family. It's got three carbons, it's got six hydrogens, and therefore this alkene is called propene. Now this alkene has a molecular formula of C3 H6 because remember in an alkene I have double the number of hydrogens compared to carbons and this alkene is called propene because any organic molecule that starts with PROP prop, has three carbons in it and if it ends in ENE it's an alkene. So this slide summarizes how we name simple alkanes and alkenes. So if the hydrocarbon has one carbon in it, the name starts with METH, meth. If it has two carbons, it starts with ETH, F. If it's got three carbons, it starts with prop, P-R-O-P, four carbons, but, B-U-T, five carbons, pent, P-E-N-T, and six carbons, hex, H-E-X. Now, an alkane always ends in ain, and an alkene always ends in en, ene. Therefore, if I have an alkane with four carbons, four means but, and it's an alkane, so it ends in ain, the compound is named butane. If I have an alkene with five carbons, five carbons and a hydrocarbon starts with pent, and because it's an alkene, ends in en, a five carbon alkene is pentene. So now we're going to test your understanding of this with some practice questions. So the next two members of the alkene family are called butene and pentene. Butene contains four carbons, pentene contains five carbons. We want you to draw the structural formula of these alkenes and we want you to write the molecular formula. So pause the video and have a go at this question, and then we'll go for the answers. So let's start with the alkene with four carbons, butene. So for this, the molecular formula is C4H8. Now this is because you double the number of hydrogens compared to carbons. So I've got four carbons, I've got eight hydrogens. So I'm going to draw my four carbons on the board and I'm going to put in my double bond. Now the double bond can actually go anywhere here but I'm going to put it on the end and I'm now going to count up the number of bonds. So each carbon must have four bonds. So my first carbon has a double bond and then two bonds to hydrogens and then my second carbon has a single bond to a hydrogen, a single bond to a carbon and a double bond and then the last two carbons have four bonds each and if I've done that correctly I will have double the number of hydrogens to carbons, and I do, and that compound is called butene. It's an alkene with four carbons in it. Now this is a good opportunity to point out something else. Now remember I said that the double bond could go anywhere here. Well if it goes between the first two carbons, that compound is actually called butene. 
because the double bond is between carbons 1 and 2. Now there is another version of butene where you can put the double bond between carbons 2 and 3. And we're going to show you that now. So on my board now I've drawn but one in. Now this is an alkene with four carbons in it and the double bond is between carbons one and two and because of that it's called but one in. And I can draw another version of butene where I put the double bond between carbons two and three and I'm going to fit the hydrogens around the carbons and I'm going to do this so that each carbon has four bonds. So I'm going to check I've done it correctly and if I've done it correctly each carbon has four bonds and I've got a total of eight hydrogens. I'm counting them up. Now that's all correct. So my molecular formula is C4H8 and this compound is called butene. So butene exists as two different versions, butuanine and butuene. Both have the same molecular formula but they've got a different structure. Now this is called isomers. Isomers are where you have the same molecular formula but a different structure and we will be looking at this in detail in later lessons. So I'm now going to do the second part of the question where I have to draw an alkene with five carbons. So I'm going to draw my alkene with five carbons in the chain. I'm going to put a double bond in here between carbon one and two but I could actually put it anywhere and I'm going to fit the hydrogens round. So the first carbon has to have two hydrogens to allow it to have four bonds. The second carbon has one hydrogen to allow it to have four bonds in total. I put two hydrogens on the next one to give it four bonds, two on the next one and three on the next one to allow it to have four bonds. Now notice here I put the bond the double bond between carbon 1 and 2. So this compound is pentene but if I want to know its precise name it's actually called pentwanine. Now its molecular formula is C5H10 and it's called pentwanine because the double bond is between carbons 1 and 2. Now there are actually other isomers of pentene. I could put the double bond between carbons 2 and 3, for example, and that would be called pentuene. Pentuene and pentuene are isomers. So after watching this video lesson, you should now be able to understand that there are two main types of hydrocarbons called alkanes and alkenes. You should be able to describe the bonding that exists in both alkanes and alkenes and draw bonding diagrams to explain this. And you should be able to name simple alkanes and alkenes, write the molecular formula and be able to draw their structures. So that concludes our video. Please check out our YouTube channel, Dr. Rowe Chemistry, and our Twitter site, which contains lots of chemistry information and links, at Radichemistry.